Hi, my name is Wilman Ziada, and I'm a New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. I'm also a proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with this amazing talent. Her name, Lauren Robinson. For more on Lauren, you can see her bio below this video. And well, before our interview, take a sneak peek at the amazing talent of Lauren Robinson. Good. Well, the audience just got a little sneak peek of you singing the original song, Streets of L.A., from Billy Reese's amazing musical, Little Black Book, that I am so fortunate to have co-conceived and co-produced the album and set to direct. I mean, instead of this making this, if I could speak English, <laughs> instead of making this interview about me, I want to go to you, my friend. You... <laughs> I will never forget being in that audience. I think it was January 2020 um, when Billy did that concert of all of his original songs. And, you know, I love an entrance from a bar. And there you were, entering from the bar of 54 Below unapologetically in, in that spotlight. And I was like, who is that? So. Um, it's the bar I, girl, that's who it is. It's the bar girl and she's got a mic and a story to tell. I want to know, first and foremost, we'll get to that moment, but Lauren, where did you grow up and when did you realize you had this amazing musical talent? Lordy. Um, I grew up in Gainesville, Florida um, and went to school there. So I just moved a couple of years ago. It's been my first real foray out of, out of Gainesville, Florida. Um, and I probably, I think I did my first show when I was six. Um, I went and auditioned for Annie at a wonderful little community theater in my hometown. And I sang, oh, what did I sing? I think I sang, I don't know how to love him from Jesus Christ Superstar. As you do for- uh, As you do as like a six. Oh no, no, my mother wouldn't let me. She said, that one's a little grown. Um, and I sang the other Mary Magdalene song. I said, try, try not to get worried. And after that, I just did back to back to back to back. <laughs> shows forever and here we are so you've always, so you've always been a show girl and i mean i love your instagram handle what is it like a big lady it is big lady official i love just like how unapologetic you are about your height you are this fiery redhead you've performed regionally already at such a young age playing the lead roles in kiss me kate and the toxic avenger um on top of the fact lauren by the way I actually knew you before I saw you at that Billy Reese concert because I know that you are a voice and a muse to many of these, you know, up and coming musical theater writers. Very lucky to work on, yeah, on a lot of developmental work, which is my favorite, which is wonderful. But that's so old school artists, you know, you hear the stories <laughs> of like, you know, the actors that sang for Jonathan Larson before Rent came out or the actors that have been a part of Lin-Manuel's tribe before in the Heights and Hamilton blew up. I think of you as, you know, one of the tribe of definitely Billy Reese, you oh, know? Bless him, yes. I hope to, yeah, I hope to stay in that tribe as long as he will let me. Um, yeah, well, as long as, as long as I'm involved, you will be. Um, <laughs> love to see it. <laughs> you don't find often unapologetic talent in people with kind hearts like you. I've been very fortunate to work with, you know, many Tony Award winning women, but they've been around the block. They've been <laughs> in the business for a while. Sure. But you have kind of this, and I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, you have kind of like an old soul about you. They have not, but I will take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I feel, I feel so far, you know, it's weird coming off a year of my, my whole second year of living in New York and of kind of chasing the thing, you know, has been, has been this year, it's been a pandemic year. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of, I feel very strange trying to kind of gauge where, where I'm at in my career at this point, as I'm sure everybody does. 
Um, but yeah, you're talking about all the, the developmental work I get to do has been like, I, I think I've really realized that that is what I love doing. And I feel so, so lucky to have like genuinely just found the most talented friends and have been able to collaborate with people that I just genuinely love and adore and think are incredible. Um, and Billy Reese being, you know, up there on the list. Um, well, you know, I mean, in, you know, you talk about collaborating with someone like Billy. You talk about me witnessing you for the first time premiering the song Streets of LA from Little Black Book. You are part of the world premiere recording of Little Black Book, and it's going to be released um, probably before this interview is even aired on April the 9th. But if not, April the 9th, um, it is being distributed by the Grammy Award winning Broadway Records. And you are a part of a, a, a lineup of, I'm sure, women that you've looked up to your whole career in life. But Absolutely. <laughs> I want to say, as co-conceiver, co-producer, and eventual director of the show, the more you know, <laughs> Lauren, you deserve to be in that lineup. Thank you. That was very kind. <laughs> I'm very out of my depths. <laughs> no, but really, I mean, look at you show up with an open heart and you only want to work with people that you that bring you joy, as do I. And then the success comes. And who would have thought that you singing in that 54 Below concert and Billy mentioning your name being like, well, I think I want more in a part of that trio. I, yes, Don, you didn't know I was there. You know, so it, <laughs> I'm excited for you to be a part of Phoenix because who are the other wills? of the world watching you for the first time that get the same feeling I did. And not only will they not only have to, they won't have to be at 54 Below in New York. With Phoenix, they'll be able to see your talent either through a live stream or through videos or through you know your own work with the Phoenix app from not only around the country, but around the world. And I'm excited for you to meet kind, fun collaborators elsewhere because your talent's transcendent, you know? Very kind. Uh, yeah, that's what are you excited about. Are you excited about that uh, opportunity? Yeah, I would, that's absolutely like exactly what I would have zeroed in on is that, uh, yeah, I am not necessarily shocker, um, the best self promoter. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I, I feel like I've been so blessed to genuinely have, you know, created kind of career paths with relationships that I, that I really tend to and nurture and love. And I'm, yeah, I, I'm very excited that this seems so artist oriented and so connection oriented in that, and you know, not in the, in the like connection way, but in that it, it seems to really remove a lot out of the pathways of artists to, to truly, you know, get in touch with each other and really learn each other's art. And that's amazing. It sounds very exciting. Well, listen, and having befriended Alan and Lance, two of the co-founders of Phoenix, they're definitely about that path of least resistance mentality yes. for artists and getting more money in artists' pockets. I know, a new revolutionary like breaking <laughs> concept, but Lauren, you are such a kind soul. You have such a big, beautiful talent, and I'm just so excited, you know, not only to continue our collaborative uh, relationship, but what Phoenix is going to be able to do for you. So um, thank you so much for joining me today for having me. It's been an honor. Thank you. Bye. In the digital age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together, whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artists once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.